So the thing is with golf is you can make everything as complicated or as simple as you like. But what I wanted to do to begin with was just to talk you through a really nice, simple, relatively neutral grip for anyone out there that's quite new to it. And then we'll go a little bit advanced in terms of how the grip changes what the club is going to try and do. So let's start with a really nice, simple grip. So first off, your left hand is going to sit at the top of the golf club right hand at the bottom for anyone that is a right hander. Now, this is quite nice. This is a multi-compound grip uh, from Golf Pride. And what you'll notice is it's got a black section and a white section at the bottom. You've got a logo here, so Golf Pride with a little line at the bottom and a little line at the top. Now, if this is put on correctly, these two lines should match up at the bottom and the top. And you're gonna help align your thumbs to those because what they'll do further down the line is they will align to the club face at the end. So that line should be square with this, helping you point the club at the target. Now, I always find it easier to have the grip with a shaft that is in this position to begin with. What you find whenever the club's placed down like so, everyone grabs it at an angle and it ends up through the palm. That's a really bad position to have that grip. We don't want it running through the palm. We want it more through the fingers. The grip itself, left hand is gonna sit at the top and I'm gonna line it up with the Golf Pride logo on here. Most grips will have markings on them and that then lines up with my club face. I can see two knuckles now on my left hand. What I'm gonna do now is introduce the right hand. Now the right hand sits slightly differently. So with the left hand, I can see two knuckles and a short thumb. So I'm pulling the thumb up and in. With the right hand, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring it over the top. So there's two options to this. You've got a overlap, which is where the bottom hand or the bottom hand sits on top or I've got the interlock which is where the index finger and little finger meet. What I'm going to do now is whenever I introduce the hand so I interlock I'm going to wrap that now on top and let that sit. So what I'm seeing now is a crease between my index finger and thumb running up towards my right shoulder and this is what we were used to or would have called a very neutral very traditional grip. Now in terms of grip pressure, we don't want to be squeezing the grip loads. If I squeeze that grip loads and try and move my wrists, it doesn't work. If I'm nice and relaxed, suddenly I get the movement again back in the wrist. So nice and light with the grip pressure. So last little trick then for anybody really struggling with their grip, you can go towards what we call a training grip, which is this one here. But all it does basically is just has positions for your hands to sit in, pre-made positions. For beginners, it's amazing just to help get that general feel for the grip. One of the things you see all the time is long hands on both and they start really almost stretching down on the grip Well, this just pulls the hands in together gets them working together as one unit. So I hope that really helps many of you. And I wanted to help make something where you have a few answers at least to the grip. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you all very soon.